Max here. So, Millet had just introduced something really, really cool. And I want to explain you quickly in this video how all of that is working. So, uh, Michael, the CEO of ManyChat, he also posted some examples uh, of what you can do with this. So we're just going over to those and I will show you some of those, how you can create those. So what is it? It is like a trigger and action rules. So you can find them under automations. Now you have the rules and then you can create a custom rule. I think this is really cool because this is really unlocking some new possibilities, some things that were not possible at first. So let's go over through the examples that he was mentioning. So one of the things you can do is um, you can use uh, the date and time field and you can use that to send reminders for things. So for example, you can capture someone's birthday, you can save that to a date and time field and then a day in advance or a few days in advance, you can say something about that or on the day itself that you're like, hey, uh, happy birthday, something like that. So you can also use this for like reservations or bookings or when somebody schedules a call with you, you can send like a message one hour in advance saying like, hey, uh, one hour of call starting. So that's really cool. And some other things you can also do, um, for example, what did, what did he say here? Like uh, the last interaction or last scene, like you can create actions and filters based on that. So if somebody didn't interact with your bot for 60 days, you could, for example, automatically unsubscribe them from your bot to keep your list clean and also to save some costs. So I think this is really cool. So you can just check out this post in the ManyChat community if you're interested in reading what he wrote about it. It's really cool. So yeah, how does it work? So you're here in the dashboard and as you see, I already created some and I'm now using it for uh, synchronizing some things uh, with active campaign, for example, the gender or when somebody's unsubscribing from the messenger bot, then I'm telling that to active campaign. I'm like, hey, this person unsubscribed, just so you know and also to synchronize the lead score. So that's some really cool things. I have way more things in my mind that I'm like, oh, I could really do this. But today's the first day I'm using this. So I'm still like looking around, probably like you, like, okay, what can I do with this? So I wanna show you quickly how you can use it. So I create a new rule, you give it a name, and then when this happens, then these actions are going to happen. So we could, for example, say here, the date time-based trigger. So you can select a user field. So the user field has to be um, the uh, a date and time field. So you can create a custom field and if it's a date and time field, then you can use it in here. But you also see that you also have the date that someone subscribed, um, the date that someone uh, at like the last interaction or was last seen. So the difference between an interaction and last seen is that uh, the interaction is that somebody clicked something, they, they typed something, they, they performed some kind of action and last seen is only when they opened your conversation. So if you, for example, see that no, that someone is not opening your conversations anymore, maybe he blocked you or something, then you could automatically unsubscribe that person after a certain amount of days. But you can also say, for example, here, um, date subscribed, and then we're going to say um, 30 days after date subscribed at field time. So field time is then the, the the time that is like captured in this custom field. I'm not sure if the subscribed thing is doing that, but you can also say, for example, okay, I want to send it at at noon or at 1 p.m. So if you want to say, okay, I want to send it 30 days after someone subscribed at 1 p.m., then you can do that. So that's really cool. And then if you, you could, for example, then say you, can, you could add a tag, you could add a tag that says like, okay, so person subscribed for 30 days if you wanna use it for some reason, but you can also trigger a zap to do something. You could also subscribe someone to a sequence. Uh, what else can you do? You can also start a flow. So you can also just say something. You can say, okay, you're now 30 days subscribed to my messenger bot. What do you think? Like, what is your experience so far? Uh, something like that. So I think there are some really cool things in it. So the date and time triggers are really cool, but there are more things you can do. So you have the date and time based trigger, but you can also um, like make triggers based on tags. So if a certain tag is added, then you can perform an action. So if they, for example, will get a, a tag, let's go over here, let's see an example. Um, a tag, they, um, 
they typed this an example they they typed their email address for uh, for a certain zip that I'm giving away inside my messenger bot so when they do that I can trigger a zap I can for example um, say here, okay, trigger zap uh, based on that tag. So I know that you can also do this with zap here. So this is actually not a super good example, <laughs> but I'm just trying to show you some things like what you can do with it. So you can do that. You can also use this to, to synchronize tags with your email service provider. So I also made a tutorial about how you can combine uh, email and bots. So it's super powerful. And for example, you could, uh, you, have, can have, you can have like segmentation tags. So if I have here a segmentation tag, tag uh, let me look. If, uh, if, for example, if I, for me, it's important to know if somebody is using ManyChat. So this tag, I would also like to have in uh, Active Campaign. So then you can also trigger a zap and then you can add it to Active Campaign as soon as this contact is getting that tag. Or if you're a bit more advanced, you could do an external request and then you can use, for example, uh, the API of the email service provider, so you don't need this app. So yeah, these are some things you can do with it. I'm still like playing around with it. So if you have any ideas of how you can use this, then yeah, just drop it in the comments. I'm super curious and I keep playing around with this. And if I find something cool, then I will let you know. Okay, that's it for now. And we will talk soon and yeah, drop in the comments if you know something cool.